Wendy and her father's first few nights in their new home were a bit restless. There were zombies and demonized knocking into the door and roof all night. Since sleeping really wasn't an option, they sorted through all of the new items Wendy had acquired on her latest adventures. Wendy's father taught her how to craft a mace into a flaming mace, and also how to use an umbrella as a weapon. When the sun came up after another sleepless night, Wendy picked up her flaming mace, determined to head out and collect some more supplies. Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Journey's End Master Mode Let's Play episode. We are doing Master Mode with a melee class, and it has been so much fun so far. We've mainly been exploring underground, and we haven't really seen too much of the overworld. So we kind of stopped at both of these naturally spawned tunnels. Now that we have our flaming mace, which was a great suggestion by tons of people, uh, it's actually going to help us quite a bit. So I think we're going to be a little bit more powerful to explore the overworld and do lots of cool stuff this episode. Another thing a lot of people mentioned is that the umbrella is a melee weapon, which is pretty sweet. I uh, didn't know that was the change that they had made. This actually would be a really cool place to build some houses, to be honest. The way these trees connect, we could do some houses up here. I was going to build a bigger house before starting this episode, but I ended up not having much time for that. So what I'm going to do is film it between this one and the next one. Whoa, there's like extra treasure chests down here. This is so cool. This would be another fun place to build out and make a little house. Looks like we got a can of worms. Right click to open. Sweet, we got five worms. Oh, and we have another house right here. Someone mentioned that the wooden boomerangs can actually be crafted into enchanted boomerangs. We'll have to be sure to craft that up soon. So it looks like we've explored the three trees over here, and it's a good way to get underground pretty quickly. But let's keep exploring above the ground and see what other biomes we've got. It's really nice that we can finally kill the slimes pretty easily now. Oh, this would be a good tree to cut down. We've got some really tall trees over here. We got a chest over here, and we have another umbrella. Nice. Oh, and we have some gold coins. Perfect. Apparently in master mode, you lose all of your gold that you got if you die, so we'll want to make sure we don't die. We can teleport back to base or something if we get close to dying. So this is another good tunnel that we can explore soon, because we still need a double jump and we need some Hermes boots, so there's a lot of stuff we still need to pick up. I love the way they've changed these little ponds to have so many different plants and everything. It looks so nice. This is a good fishing spot too. There's a lot of things I want to fish up, like frog legs for sure, because there's so many new things we can craft with them. And I definitely want to be doing that because it looks so powerful to get amphibian boots. Well, let's grab the treasure over here. And then I think we're probably going to have to head back because I don't think we're strong enough to be in this biome for very long. Although we did just get a spear, but it's a damage spear. So um, let's just head back to base. We can craft the enchanted boomerang with one fallen star and a wooden boomerang. So let's do that right now. That looks like an amazing improvement. Um, we got a damaged one. That's a bummer, but it's still got such good knockback that I think I'm going to probably use it. And let's head on over to the east side of our map and see what we can find. It's a bit unreal that we finished the first week after the 1.4 launch. It was the most busy week I think I've had in a couple years. <laughs> I was working so hard last week, so I think now that we've done our first week of 1.4, I want to go to doing maybe like daily uploads or five, six times a week, give myself a little bit of a break because the double, triple uploads was insane, but it was a ton of fun and the channel grew so much. So it was quite exciting. We got a desert biome over here. Very good. And I think this is the entrance to the underground desert. I think we're going to skip that for now. I want to see what else we have over here. We can grab some cactus though, that's always good. Ooh, this is a good weapon for vultures. It's weird that you can't break the ground under a cactus now, you actually have to chop them down. So it looks like we've got another tree over here. So let's check out that. It looks like these two trees have tunnels, so we can spend the night doing some exploring under the trees here. And I think that'll be pretty good keep us safe from the zombies for another night. Man, this weapon is so powerful. I'm so glad I got it. 
but I think we got another boomerang from the chest up there. So we actually can try our luck again, crafting another enchanted boomerang. And hopefully this time we'll get one that has a better modifier. I can't believe how many chests we're finding in these trees. Well, we have three cans of worms. It's nice that they do that now because it helps so much with fishing. Because I usually don't like picking up the bait for fishing, but if we can find bait and treasure chests and stuff, that'll be really helpful. Ooh, this one leads us to the underground desert. Interesting. I don't know if we're ready for the underground desert, but I know there's some really good stuff down here. So we should definitely check it out. This is kind of scary. I know there's a really awesome spear that people have mentioned. So hopefully we can find that. And I'm also not sure what these things are. It's like a little like egg sack or something. Man, we're getting tons of enemies spawning here since we've kind of lingered. I'm really hoping for an underground house or something. That'd be pretty nice. Whoa, that did so much damage when that sand fell on me. Okay, so we got to be really careful now. The underground desert is so much more dangerous. You have to be super careful not to activate any of these traps. We did get a few scarab bombs, so let's try using those. Those help build elevators and stuff. You see that blew up a hole down right into the next level, which is pretty nice. Oh my gosh, we do like one damage. <laughs> and these things have 300 health. Yeah, our best bet is to just completely not do any fighting down here. Let's maybe blow up a hole big enough for this thing to fall down. And then that will help us out. Gotta do kind of some weird strategies here. And then let's wall this in just to make sure. Stay safe. Okay, I think we have managed to trap those guys over there. And let's see what else we've got. It looks like we've got a whole bunch of antlions down there. So let's go ahead and head this direction and see what we can find. As long as we don't get a sand digger, I think we're going to be just fine. Because we can always just play it safe in here. It's pretty interesting that they have all these d new different types of torches. I'm not 100% sure what the torches do, um, but it's kind of cool looking. Okay, I'm surprised we still haven't found a house yet. I feel like we've been exploring for a while down here. Okay, so I just had an idea. Maybe I can build kind of a sand trap for this enemy. So let's build kind of a sand wall. Haha, <laughs> and we trapped him. Perfect. That worked out really well. So I'm going to use the sand block strategy again. Just block that in with sand. And then we'll just head on over the other side. And keep all those enemies away from us. Although we got to be really careful in this room with all the cactus. Ooh, we got more scarab bombs. Excellent. This is bad. We got lots of little guys attacking us. We just got to keep them away from us. Man, this is treacherous. So treacherous. I really want a better one of these boomerangs. Okay, we survived. And let's see what else we got down here. Oh, another one of these. Man, even the larvae are kind of hard to kill. Ooh, there's the golfer NPC down there. That's pretty sweet. Hopefully we can get him before he dies. Uh-oh. We've got that. I think we're probably done in here. Since we've got a digger now. Yep, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Somehow we managed to survive down there. Let's see how much stuff we ended up exploring. I mean, that's a pretty good size tunnel that we got. But we didn't find a single house, which is really a bummer. But what we can do now is we can craft an enchanted boomerang. So let's go ahead and do that and see if we can get a better roll. And we got shoddy. We've got damage and we have shoddy. We haven't explored what goes down over here or over here. So let's head on over there before night. I love the little branches and things that they have now. They look so cool. All the little extra flowers and branches and little shrubs and stuff that they've added. It really adds to the whole look of the game and these new trees, just having the diversity is really nice. 
it's nice that we don't have to be too scared of slimes anymore. We can move so much faster with our hook and with a boomerang and everything. I think I like the boomerang more than the fire uh, flaming mace, even though it's got a bad roll. The knockback is so nice. It's so helpful to keep us safe. One thing I've been working on in between episodes has been designing a little house. So I want to build a cool house and I'll be doing it probably between this one and next one. And I've got some pretty sweet ideas. So I'll, I'm excited to show y'all what I've been coming up with there. I'll probably do a time lapse and depending on how long it is, I may do it as a separate video or just tack it on to next episode. Oh yeah, we just found a mine track. So we are good to go. This is going to help so much. Oh, and we have a heart crystal. Yes, this is very good. Let's grab that. Make sure to use it before we forget. And this is so helpful. Usually we can find a house if we get on one of these mine tracks. Oh my gosh, we have so many slimes. This is so crazy. Okay, at least we've got some good knockback. We should be able to keep these guys off of us. Man, why are there so many slimes in this cave? Whoa, I just saw a pressure plate track. I think there's a boulder above us or something. Yeah, there's a pressure plate boulder. I never have seen that before, where the minecart track actually has a trap on it. it. Looks like this is the bottom of the crimson biome, so let's stay clear of that for now. And we got another heart crystal. This is great. Oh my gosh, another heart crystal. We're getting so lucky with these. And now we've got 200. It's our fifth heart crystal already. And we could put one right here. And we should be good to go. We got a gun, the undertaker. I'm really hoping for the spear. Oh, two Undertakers. Bummer. I think we've got a boulder trap and some dart traps all connected to this chest right here. So let's go ahead and break these. We've got all sorts of stuff and we didn't have to die to get it. So I'm going to try to come down. Ooh, we have a dart trap down there. So I'm going to try to grab that and run away. Leave that guy where he's at. No need to kill a skeleton right now. There we go. Got another heart crystal right here. Whoa, what is this pink fairy thing? Interesting. I wonder if it wants me to follow it. I guess it does. I am very curious about a pink fairy thing. Oh, so the fairy led me to a life crystal. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, we've got a trap and we've got another life crystal. This is excellent. So we are just getting a ton of life crystals, although we're not finding many item improvements. We are getting health improvements. So this is quite good. Ooh, we just got a gravitation potion. That is amazing. So we can now go into floating islands. You know what I just noticed? He has a sword in his head. <laughs> I always thought that was a hat. Uh-oh. Yeah, there you go. You can't get us now, buddy. We're in a predicament, I think. It's like a spawn point for all sorts of monsters. So let's see what we can do here to get out of this situation, because I don't think we're going to kill a salamander very easily. And maybe just throw these down. And we'll just block this mine in so we don't get any more enemies spawning. And that way we can control what we got down here. If we can get up into a floating island and manage to get a Star Fury, we are going to be set for our boss fights for sure. We're going to defeat King Slime no problem with Star Fury. So I definitely want to use that Gravitation Potion to the absolute max. So we've got a Marble Biome here. And I know we're going to have to be extremely careful because the guys that throw javelins are going to kill us so fast. Man, just trying to kill the bats is hard enough.
And let's enter the new underground mushroom biome. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Oh, there's another heart crystal down here, too. We just need to defeat all these enemies. Uh-oh. I'm really glad we can float in this water now. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. We're going to have to escape. Okay, I think I've got an idea. Let's drop some sand in here. And that should block the guy in. And I don't think he's going to be able to jump over that. Now we can get our heart crystal without any interruption. Perfect. Now we can get out of here. <laughs> Sweet. Two heart crystals. I've never used that strategy of dropping sand and dividing the rooms, but it's really helpful. We are almost full on heart crystals, and we still have not found a double jump or Hermes boots or anything. But we're getting lucky with hearts. And it looks like we have an ice biome. We only need one more life crystal, and then we are good to go. And, oh my goodness, we got an ice blade. Oh yeah, I'm really excited. Got an ice blade. It's got a nice projectile, pretty sweet. And it's an auto swing, so that's very nice. I really want to find a goblin though, so we can re-roll it, because we're getting some really bad rolls. It's annoying ice blade. We just got a Spelunker potion, so let's go ahead and use that, and oh, wow. <laughs> I am glad we used our Spelunker because we have so many things we can collect here. This is crazy. We have a water chest and two ice chests all within the same screen. And we have some water walking boots. Excellent. And what do we get in this one? We've got a deadly snowball cannon. Nice. Some more recall potions, some ice torches. But hopefully we'll get something good in here. I would go for an ice boomerang for sure. That would be nice. Oh yes, a zealous ice boomerang. Awesome. And we have so much stuff in our inventory. It'd be best to just head back to base. So let's go do that. Plus we have 10 gold coins. So we definitely need to deposit all that. Now that we have a gravitation potion and we have iron skin, let's use our buffs and head out to explore. Hopefully we can find some sky islands. Ooh, we found one already. This is awesome. Okay, here we go. We just gotta be really careful with these harpies. And first one, sluggish star fury. I am stoked. We got star fury. Let's equip it for sure. And another Man, we're, we're getting so lucky. We might grab a few accessories and stuff. It doesn't have a door. It's kind of weird. Wow, I can't believe I got under that without taking damage there. Okay, let's try to get away to another place right here. Rain some stars down on these guys. Oh my gosh, we're getting so many harpies. Okay, I think what we're going to do is use a teleportation potion. And then we're going to go the other way. And that way we don't have any harpies anymore. Another one. One gravitation potion, and we've already found three islands. Oh, we have two lucky horseshoes. Perfect. Uh-oh. The knockback. Okay, I think I'm just going to teleport back. No point in dying up there. And our gravitation's up in five seconds. So we got all the stuff I was looking for. Well, it would have been nice to get a balloon, but we got our horseshoe, so we don't take fall damage anymore. And we have a star fury, which is incredible. We're actually getting powerful. We can kill zombies now. So hopefully this gold chest will give us something we need. And then we should be able to find our heart crystal as well and get our hearts all the way filled up. Okay, well, we have a magic mirror. That's nice. If we chop this down, I assume we'll get a bunch of gems. So let's take a look and see. We got a ruby gem corn. Sweet! So we can replant it back at our base or something.
And, ah, uh, yes, we can buy bombs. I'm going to buy a full stack. Perfect. And then we can sell him some stuff. Now, this is the way I like to explore. No mining. Nice. Um, I think we are full hearts now. We got another heart right here, so we can make a heart lantern for our first boss fights. That'll be helpful. Yes, we got a warding cloud in a bottle. Okay, I think we're finally strong enough to take on one of these skeletons. Yeah, pretty sweet. We're getting powered up here. Well, our inventory is very full and we have explored so much of our world already. So I think we're probably good for this episode. Let's go head back to base, see what we can craft and call it a day. We got 52 bars of gold now and we can craft, uh, looks like we can either do legs or chest armor. So let's maybe go with legs. And then I think we might be able to get some cactus armor or maybe some tungsten armor. We probably have enough tungsten to make an armor piece. Yeah, we've got enough tungsten to make a chest piece. So we've got that. We can throw away our wood armor now. Which means we are up to 22 defense. We have star fury. We've got ice blade. We've got a flaming mace. The ice boomerang. We've got lucky horseshoe. We've got cloud in a bottle. So many good things right now. Like I said, we are going to be ready for some boss fights next episode for sure. I may do some fishing soon because I want to grab some frog legs and maybe we can get a sailfish boot. And then like I said earlier, I want to build a really nice house here in between episodes. So I'll be working on that and I'll show a time lapse of that. I've had a few people ask about submitting builds for potentially being used in this Wendy playthrough. So if you're interested in submitting a build and potentially having me add it to this world, post it on the discord and I'll look through all the bases. The main restriction I want to make for these submissions is that the houses are no bigger than about 50 blocks wide and about 50 blocks tall. You can do it specific to different biomes because I want to have houses all around this world. So if you'd like to submit a build and have it potentially featured in the playthrough, just head on over to the discord. There's a link in the description. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.